Hi there, this is Eric for Ochoy. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at working with subdivisions using Octane for Maya. And I'm using the Machinery 01.ma scene for this example. It's just a polygon object, some kind of sort of sci-fi panels kind of stuck together with some simple shaders applied to it. So I'm going to switch over to Viewport 2.0 here for a second. And let's select one of these objects and zoom in on it. And as you well know, if you've been working with Maya for a while, that uh, if you select a polygon object, you can subdivide it or preview the subdivision by pressing the three key. So you see a preview of the subdivided surface. If I press two, I can see a wireframe plus the subdivided version. If I press one, I can see the basic a polygon version with zero subdivisions. I can also subdivide the surface by choosing mesh smooth and this will smooth the surface and I can use this division counter to change the divisions. So if I set this to two, it gets subdivided two times. If I set this to three, it gets subdivided three times. So let's set this down to zero and let's select the object. I'm going to choose edit delete by type history just to get rid of all that construction history. Okay, so that's just a basic review of how Maya works. If I switch over to the Octane renderer, and if I zoom into my object here, if I press two or three, I can see from the wireframe when the object is highlighted that it is subdivided. But if I deselect it, you can see it doesn't change uh, the way that it looks in Octane. So let's select this and press one just to go back to zero subdivisions. And I'm going to select the object and go into the attribute editor for its shape node. So you want to find the shape node tab. Within the shape node tab, you'll find an octane rollout that has a bunch of octane specific attributes. Down here, we'll see the subdivision attributes. So if I set open subd level to one, it's going to subdivide the object one time. Let's select this one and I'm going to set this to two. So you can compare uh, with each of these objects, the subdivision levels as they get higher, the object gets more smooth. And now, of course, there's a certain point where if you keep raising this, it's not going to make any difference and you're just going to be slowing down uh, Octane. It also depends on how the object has been modeled. For example, these three objects are very low poly, so changing the open sub D level is going to make a dramatic change. Uh, if I select an object, say like this one, and I set its open sub D level to one. All right, that's what it looks like. And if I set it to two, the change is not quite as dramatic. It's still somewhat dramatic, but it's not as dramatic as the other one. So three between two and three doesn't look that different. So you want to kind of set the subdivision level to just the level that it needs to be in order to get the kind of smoothness that you want. So I'll set that back to one, sorry, zero. Let's go back to this object down here. And I'm going to set this open sub D level to three. That means it's been subdivided three times. And we can use the open sub D sharpness slider to kind of fine tune the sharpness of the corners. So even though it's being subdivided three times, as I raise this, you can see it gets closer and closer to that original cage. So this is a nice way to just to put a very slight kind of smooth bevel to it. Of course, if it's too high, it's going to start to look like zero subdivision. So you want to kind of find the happy medium so that it kind of has a nice, smooth, rounded look, but still maintains its basic shape, even though it's been subdivided two times or three times or whatever. So this is just a subdivision preview that you'll see when you're rendering with Octane. It doesn't actually add polygons to the model like the mesh smooth command does. Uh, but that's kind of the nice thing about it. You don't actually have to add more polygons to the model to get a nice smooth render of the surface. Down here we have open sub D bound interpolation. Try different variations of this just to see how it affects the model. And likewise, we also have the open sub D scheme. And this just determines the algorithm used to subdivide the surface. The most popular is Catmull Clark. That tends to get you the most accurate and desirable results, but you can try the other two and take a look in the documentation for detailed explanations of the difference between these three. So that's the basics of working with subdivision surfaces 
in octane for my app.